Namaste beautiful yogis. Today we are doing a restorative yoga class that is focusing on posture, pelvic alignment, pelvis, shoulders, spine, chest and we will need a Swiss ball, a yoga block or a small ball, a yoga strap, an elastic band of some sort and a wall. For more classes, restorative, therapeutic, fun, intense, interval training, vinyasa, come to my website alikamanova.com and I have hundreds of classes there. I'll see you there. Let's begin now with this restorative class. Right, starting at the front, roll the shoulders back and down, open the palms of the hands forward, which widens the back and allows you to drop in the shoulder blades back into the back fire up uh, the arches of the feet by lifting the toes of the floor pull the belly in and feel the strength of this alignment here feel your positioning in space close your eyes run the central axis of the body in your mind and see how the left feels see how the right side feels if you have a pull a draw an imbalance on one side just feel it breathe and as you exhale exhale lightness so what we're trying to work on today or what we'll be working on is finding where tension is and starting to exhale tension sometimes when there is imbalance in the hips and shoulders it's because we have learned to hold tension there so a big Part of it is breath and learning to relax. Uh, subconsciously, we generally hold the tension. We don't know if it's that it's even happening. Exhaling and softening the body, especially if you feel resistance somewhere, soften there. You're not trying to hold it in a certain way. You're trying to soften, to let go. And here, gravity is helping you to stay in this place of equilibrium between the left and the right. Lift through the crown of the head. Lift your toes a little higher. Really spread your toes wide and leave them which fires up the four corners of the feet, lifts the arches and allows you to find a nice alignment here. All right, inhale the hands out and we're going to Step the feet a little wider, twist to your left, twist to your right, one more time, twist to the left, twist to the right, and here we're just going to start swinging the arms, really let them be loose. Toe to toe, looking behind you. All right, <laughs> good, shake, shake the hands. Now shake the, shake the forearms as if you have something stuck on them and you're just trying to shake it off. Something sticky, it's resisting. All right, now shake the entire arm from the shoulder down and Step onto your left foot, draw a few circles with your right knee and even widen the circle, feeling the hips here. Good. All right. Knee into the rib cage, and here we're gonna draw a few circles with the toes. And let's change the direction. Point, flex the foot, point flex opposite side a few very easy circles and circles with the toes changing the direction point flex 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 point fl
point. Great. From here, we're going to do something very necessary, although a little bit steady, but we're gonna come all the way to a wall, bring the booty all the way to the wall. So your, your seat bones are touching the wall here, both of them equally. Bring your legs exactly above your hips, ankles above the hips. And try not to open the feet out, try to have them aligned here. And drop the hands down, palms facing up. So the shoulders are getting the chance to relax. And the reason why we're doing this, this is going to uh, basically, it's taking you out of the upright position where you're not holding yourself in a certain way depending on how the spine is curving. In this way, you're going to be able to balance the hips out and make them even because after a, a little period of holding this restorative pose, the thigh bones are going to drop down towards the hip socket and your hips are gonna be a lot more balanced. And from there we can work a little further on alignment, but this is how we're getting the structure to be solid. We're working on the foundation here, spine and pelvis. This is the same way working for the shoulders. If one shoulder is a little tense, a little high, a little in, twisted in, it's going to drop after. Uh, a brief period of holding this pose. Now you can also put this class on um, half speed or on a 0.75 speed that way you get a little longer everything. I would recommend that if you have the time. And also it doesn't distort my speaking too much so you can do that on days when you have extra time and you really want to savor all these restorative poses that we'll be doing today. Close your eyes and again, come back to that central axis of the body and feel is there a difference between the left and the right. Here you will feel it even more because you are <clears throat> having both of your hips equally equal distance from the wall, so now they are even. And if one is lifted or a little higher, which happens all the time, for us when we're doing repetitive things in life so you will feel it here and if you feel a little bit of tension or something funky feeling on one side as exhale from there a lot of a lot of the alignment will come from relaxing the body and letting go of the tension that we subconsciously hold we all do it it's just where do we choose to hold the tension is a matter of always coming back and breathing in and feeling it out. So now if you feel that your legs feel a little heavier and they're just kind of sitting there, let them, they will wanna drop in. So by drop in, imagine, imagine your hip kind of aligning here and just allowing it to drop in a little for the leg to drop in a little further down and for the hip socket to drop down to the ground towards the ground breathe into your tailbone into your glutes Feeling the spine and the shoulders. All right, here, look at your feet and try to have your feet exactly facing the ceiling so they're not twisted with the outer edges pointing a little, uh, pointing up so the outer edge is higher than the inner or the inner, which is a lot less common. Try to have them even so that the legs are lining even. If you need to readjust here, bring the body in a little more, straighten the spine a little more, do that. Mm -hmm. 
this is great postpartum this is a great postpartum class because uh, postpartum I've, I've learned to do those things constantly because I we need to be realigning the pelvis and the shoulders which is they're completely connected the two and when you realign the shoulders sometimes if you have problems with your wrist or elbows that can go away as well because sometimes it's originating in the spine and shoulders Now we're going to be coming out of this pose very soon. If you have a lot of time, do pause the video, maybe put your favorite music on and stay another five minutes here because it will benefit you. I've been doing this pose quite often and if I have time, I treat myself to this pose. So I don't want to make this video super long, but feel free to put your favorite song on for the duration of the song. Just stay here. It also will benefit your mind. Your if you're dealing with any stress, anxiety, just allow this very gentle inversion to benefit your alignment and hips while your mind is relaxing. Otherwise, if you want to stay in the parameters of the time length of this class, just come out of it now. Bending the knees to come out safely, you're just going to roll to the side drop the knees on the ground and press yourself up because your spine is really relaxed so let your hands arms do the work great we're gonna continue aligning the pelvis here have your strap and your block close by and lay down onto your back press your lower back into the ground take your block i'm using the um this side of the block between my knees but you can use the the widest one as well if you prefer that just experiment and you can place the block between your knees just under the knees works as well if your knees are sensitive and you don't want to press on the joint itself that can work as well and from here you are going to bring your feet down on the ground Mulabanda activated, so you're pulling the perineum in or up, however you want to call it, and pressing the lower back down and you will squeeze the block hold, release. Now, you, if your pelvis is out of balance, SI joint out of balance, uh, hips out of balance, you may hear a pop in the SI joint. Um, as long as there is no pain or anything that's a good sign it's just coming back in balance uh, that's one of the great physical therapy poses I have it in a few classes um, included included it's a great pose for, for rebalancing the pelvis and also activating the adductors the um, inner thighs all right squeeze and hold release squeeze and hold and as you squeeze perineum mulabanda Kegel muscle. Release, squeeze, release, squeeze, release. I'm gonna try the wider side. Oh yeah, I like it today. Squeeze. It's just giving me different resistance. Squeeze. Squeeze and hold. Squeeze and hold. Squeeze and hold. All right, let's spice it up. So now you're going to bring the strap around your knees, around hip width apart, and leave the block between your knees. All right, you can adjust it. Very good. So now we're gonna press out. All right. Press out, squeeze in, 
press out squeeze in press out squeeze in press out squeeze in great take the block out and we're gonna do five pressing outs with with the molabata breathe and feel your hips here I personally really like the squeezing in for my body but this one is important too and for some people it's even more important depending on how your body is one more we're all different and doing different things that's why that's where your inner teacher comes in all right taking the strap out one more hip rebalancing right hand uh, right under the right knee left hand right above the knee so you're going to push the right knee into your hand and resist away from you and bring the left into your hand and resist and change really give it a go here press it pull and push pull and push change 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 excellent from here bridge alignment you're going to have your feet parallel to each other spread the toes wide open lift lift your uh, booty off the floor and keep your hips exactly even so you're not going to twist one hip higher but you're just going to keep them even and bring your entire body to the right and drop it down here so your body is forming a bit of a rainbow here and you're feeling this adjustment lift it back up center opposite side try to keep your hips equal distance from the ceiling or from the floor all right drop it there is a little snoring sound i hear from my dog it may not come through on the video but if you hear a little snoring that's what it is lift opposite side it's a really still hot day here kind of like one of those very very hot summer days but it's spring it has the feeling of a super super hot still air summer day change Keep it even, keep them even, keep them even. All right, good. And when you drop down to the ground, let go of certain ways you hold your body. Just let your body relax into this kind of curving alignment. One more on each side to finish off onto the opposite side. All right, good, opposite side. coming back to center bring your right knee in point and flex point the toes flex point flex point flex opposite side point flex and this next one is so good you're going to grab your ball or if you're working with something substitution you can even use your block and place the block underneath your uh, between your shoulder blades a ball I find this to be very helpful for this particular class you're going to lay over the ball and allow a passive stretch here this one is spectacular for office workers or if you drive a lot sit uh, 
on a, at a desk a lot, picked up your baby a lot, anything that has to do with um, punching over, leaning forward, shoulders slouched, etc., chest collapsed, even when the neck is out of alignment, this one is great, and because of it being a, being a passive inversion, uh, it can totally realign your upper back and lower back. Let go here, now you're hanging, so let go of holding the body, allow the shoulders to be heavy. Allow the face muscles to be relaxed, jaw, neck. Nice exhalations here. Slowly roll forward out of this. With any of these poses, feel free to cut them short or to lengthen them. If anything causes any form of pain or discomfort, discontinue. That is pretty much the disclaimer for every class. Lay onto your right side, bring the right leg forward, left back, and you're going to reach over and hang here. That's another one that can rebalance your spine, obliques, shoulders. Now you can grab your right, with your right hand, your left forearm, and pull slightly really stretching here and this is delicious if you don't have a swiss ball totally get it for this one it's for an even hips and even shoulders spine issues all right quick back to center Ooh. this is getting to be on the opposite side so the bottom leg is forward, top leg is back, and you can really pull with the bottom hand so that you're giving yourself a little adjustment here. If you don't pull, that's also great because you're using gravity. all right coming out of this my body feels awake and even though we're just laying around really i feel blood rushing into the upper back the chest now a lot of the situation with um, bad posture is because there's no strength in the upper body so you're going to bring your strap around your legs sit with a straight back really straight back and you're going to pull and we're gonna be pulling and then pushing later pushing now we're just pulling so let's see grab a strap pull and squeeze your shoulder blades in release squeeze and hold squeeze 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 Squeeze, squeeze, hold, a few more, all right, let's do the opposite, push, which is a push-up. Both of these are needed to, in order to have a um, good alignment. 
either push-ups from the knees or straight up push-ups. Belly in. Great, coming on to all fours, inhale, walk up, exhale, rounding, inhale, walk up, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Great, coming on to the knees, camel, hands behind you. Have your knees hip width apart, fingertips pointing up, press your hips forward, walk your elbows in, and your fingertips are going to be at your waistline, so the skin, the back is pulling up away from the fingertips. It's a little energetic alignment or mindfulness of the pose pressing the hips forward lifting the chest up I like to think of this pose as lifting up rather than a really deep back bend because I want the hips to be really stabilized here in the pelvis all right lower down round to counteract it Take the right leg up, grab your right leg with the left, uh, with the right hand, sorry. Press away to open the shoulder here. Changing sides. And here we're just going to do a few circles with the hips. Changing the direction. Let the toes under, down dog. Finally, lifting the hips as high as you can. Left hand in the center, right hand to the left ankle, walk under. Changing sides. Drop the knees down, open the legs out and lower down here in a little stretch. Great, from here you're going to grab your strap. A stick would work better here. I don't have a stick, if you have a stick, you can grab a stick, but it doesn't really matter. You're going to grab your strap or, or a stick or a bar and you will bring it over your head. Place your feet down on the ground. You're going to take the right hand up, left hand on the ground and open here. This is again, spinal adjustment, postural adjustment. Opposite side. And two more of each one. Again. Again. Great, from here, 
Lay onto your belly, hands underneath the shoulders, squeeze the elbows into the rib cage. Come up, roll the shoulders back and down. Cobra. Lower down, hands over the head, lift the left leg up, right hand, change sides, change sides, change sides, change sides, lift, 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 lift. lift. Lift, 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 last one, and child's pose. Relax your hands, palms of the hands facing each other. From here, glide forward, lower down onto your belly, hands over the head, lift both and hold, both hands and both legs, activating the lower back, here, palms of the hands facing down, bending at the elbows, bringing it down, squeezing the shoulder blades into the back, activating the upper back. Two more of those. Great. From here, roll onto your back. Feet are hip width apart and you're going to bring one hip up. Both hips are down on. The booty is on the ground and we're just lifting one leg up. Jamming one leg up. Then the other which makes the opposite hip drop down and again change just lifting one hip without too much swaying back and forth you're just working on the hips here change 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 and now slow it down one two Bring the right knee over the left, open the arms out, keep your shoulders on the ground and lower your legs over to your left, look over to the right. changing sides both shoulders down look over to your left legs to the right back to center extend the right leg down left leg up and just bring it across come back change sides bring it across so this is a dynamic spinal adjustment bend the knee bring it across come back up opposite side 
the, the entire time your shoulders are remaining on the floor so the knee may not touch the floor eventually it may it's not as important as keeping the shoulders down so that you're feeling this adjustment in the lower back a few more of those great and from here you're going to roll onto your belly one more time and you are going to open the arms out we're going to do that active scorpion stretch take the right leg up bend the knee and bring it towards your hand release opposite side oh i heard a pop opposite side opposite side opposite side opposite side good one last good excellent and we're gonna lift up into top of a push-up alignment one more set so that we're building strength in the chest which is very important in posture posture is good posture is requires good strength and structural alignment and both of this happens with the restorative exercises we're doing plus some strength building realignment pull the belly in three more I'm using here the moment of doing it from my knees to really do the full movement. All right, the pulse. If you have a different way of doing, creating the pulling motion, such as uh, how I have the dip station, the hanging pulse, of course that works as well. However, you can create that work with pushing, pulling pull and squeeze pull and squeeze pull come to this class if you have really bad issues with posture at least twice a week for a while and then you can cut back to once a week and after a while you can cut back to even once every two weeks etc you can replace it with other classes but for a while you can do it a little more often and you will see results, especially how we started with uh, legs up a wall. This one is a spectacular way to start for this particular purpose. <laughs> squeeze, squeeze. Excellent. Roll on to all fours. Down dog. Take the right leg up, open the right hip on top of the left, lift through the heel, bend the knee, drop it behind, and here see how far you can go. If you're a total beginner, you can just stay here or even skip that drop, dropping knee and you can stay here. If you're familiar with wall thing, you can lift the hips high, that also creates a lot of space in the abs and pelvis chest side plank my favorite now you can bring your right foot in front of you for support or left knee down for support or hold side plank if you crisscross your legs it's easier if you stack your feet on top of each other it's a little harder pull the belly in squeeze the inner thighs together or into each other down uh, back to plank either cobra or upward dog only if you know how to do good upward dog and back to down dog take the left leg up open the left
heel lifting up bend the knee either stay here or drop it behind well thing side plank again there is ways to make it a little easier or hold side plank inner thighs activated plank pull the belly in open the chest drop the shoulders away from the ears hold Great, bring your right knee forward and we're going to do pigeon here. Shin bone on the ground, lower down. Hips equal distance from the floor. Breathe here into your hip. Great, coming up, back to one legged down dog, circle that knee. Opposite side, rib cage lifting away from the leg, from the floor, chest open, spine elongated, lower down and breathe into your hip, making sure that both hips are equal distance from the floor. Coming out of this, tuck the toes under, go back to one legged down dog and just move around that left leg. Good. Down dog. Take the right foot off the floor, step it between your hands, lift the left hand down, touching the floor, twist here into a lunge twist and step it back this is a little bit of a dynamic movement for again twisting and aligning opposite side right foot 
left foot right foot left foot now right and stay here and come up to high lunge left arm lifting right elbow behind you see if they can if the hands can touch behind otherwise you can use a strap or just grab your shirt if you can't reach which is quite common if you can't reach don't worry don't worry about it it's more common than actually reaching holding here look up and feel that opening beautiful release shake clasp the hands behind you again open the chest look up lower down this is called humble warrior you're lowering the forehead down towards your ankle and pressing the hands away from you great drop the hands down on the ground here we're gonna bring the feet parallel to each other forward bend wide legged forward bend you can clasp the hands behind you let them hang opening the chest and shoulders again here you're hanging you're not holding your body so that is allowing your spine to decompress you can shake your head move your thumb down around your mouth, draw a few circles with the eyes, keeping them closed. This is so delicious. After all the relaxation we did, great. Step it back to plank, left foot in, come up. This time right. Hand is up, left elbow by the rib cage, clasping behind, look up, soften. The right elbow is right next to your ear. Keep it in, close to your head. Let it go, shake. Clasping behind, you can reverse the clasp so the dominant hand is now under and humble warrior. Coming back up, open. Step to the front chair. Tuck the tailbone under slightly, hold here. hands in prayer right elbow on the outside of the left knee make sure that the knees are not they're square look up so that the hips are square opposite side mm, I heard a little bit of a alignment here back to center squat down grab your big toes lift in this is a modified navasana it's a little easier because you're not using your abs all right drop the right leg down bring your right hand on the outside of the left foot flex the right foot twist here look behind you and this is a hip opener it also stretches the IT band especially if you move the left leg a little across from your body you will feel this really deep stretch deep in the leg not a stretch that you generally feel it's hard to get to the IT band chin lifted lengthening through the crown of the head flexing the right foot the foot on the ground all right opposite side left hand on the outside of the right foot look behind flex both feet and try to keep your foot even so you're not turning this foot you're just keeping it even so that you know that you're going deep into the IT band hips are as square as you can manage
great release bend both knees so the left foot isn't on top of the right knee and you're going to look behind you and just turn over to the other side look behind you bring the hands behind you and move the legs a few times all right final stretches right foot on the inside of the left inner thigh and you can lower down here keep the back straight beautiful opposite side coming out of this legs out flex the feet and you're going to lower the chest over one leg over the opposite back to center reach over to one over one leg over the other back to center soles of the feet together lower down onto your back laying here just for a few moments Release the legs. Laying down on the floor, just feeling the alignment here. You can close the eyes and allow yourself to be completely present for the next few moments allowing the past and the future to melt and allowing the present moment to be crisp sharp audible fully residing in the present moment fully experiencing the present moment and the greatness of your body your body has been your best friend since you were born and allowing yourself to be fully present in your body thankful grateful for your body feeling is the class a class like this feels like a big hug that you give yourself so Feeling that tenderness, gentleness, lovingness towards your body without the judgment of what your body can and cannot do, but just fully accepting it. It's, it's a thing we never think about to fully accept the body as your best friend, as someone that's always with you because we're not just the body, we're something else. Obviously, consciousness, our consciousness is something we almost outside of the body, just a big aura around the body. It's bigger than just a body. I'm trying to be careful so that I'm just saying something that's not offending anybody and at the same time you get what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to focus, focus our attention here on just a very simple act of self-love and also appreciation for the body in a very, very accepting way. And with this lovingness, acceptance, gentle appreciation of the body, stay here, just grateful for it, loving towards it, feeling it, feeling the moment because all we have is this present moment and how we feel in this present moment is our life, our happy moment to moment. Appreciative, grateful, thankful, loving, joyous. 
I'll see you with my other upcoming restorative classes. Stay here for a few more moments. Thanks for joining me today. Namaste.